Beloved soul, it's Melina. Welcome to my channel. So you guys, today we have a very detailed reading, I feel like, because I want to know about your future spouse or um, long-term relationship, all right? So, um, and um, I want to know who is this person and what are their intentions and what are their feelings during this relationship from the beginning to the middle to the end, okay? Or just when it starts and, you know, happens, right? And, um, and then I'm going to do an extended where we really dig deep into the sexual uh, tendencies of these relationships okay so and uh, in the extended I'm gonna be asking also when is this gonna happen when will this come into your life okay so uh, you can choose between these uh, three crystals we have this uh, beautiful feather that just wanted to join wanted to place itself in the middle we have um, uh, a piece of wood I found on the beach when I was on summer vacation right outside of um, the Viking Museum where they have all these old <laughs> boats and stuff like that. Uh, so um, I picked it up. I thought it was beautiful. So this is for group number one. And then we have this beautiful uh, crystal here. That I always do choose when I do my Divine Masculine readings. It, it's really heavy and really has so much energy. Okay, just love it. And then we have uh, this fossil here, this pointy one. So this is definitely an oldie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So, um, so this uh, is what you can choose from these three groups here and um, I'm going to be shuffling the oracle cards and, and tarot I feel like uh, before I do each reading uh, so you don't have to wait for me <laughs> okay so I'll get straight on to that and then I'll see you in your reading all right so group number one if you chose this beautiful uh, wooden um, pointy thing <laughs> Uh, let's do your reading and let's take a look at your person and their energies okay so um, we have first and foremost the, um, the divine masculine archetypes and behavior you can see below where to get them okay first we have a grown-up Okay, it says calm, grounded, no haste, pedagogical, thoughtful, responsible, understanding, and healer. Yes, and we have a naive guy, unclear, gullible, innocent, clueless, impulsive, unaffected. And then we have old soul, wise, strong, responsible, courageous, hero, confident, experienced and happy soul okay abundant content lucky positive humoristic light-hearted prosper everywhere so what i want to say about this person is someone who has both feet planted on the ground um, someone who has lived many life lives before this one knows a lot uh soul wise and um <clears throat> It could be a father, and um, this person could be a father or someone definitely a, a mature, I want to say. Uh, the naive guy comes in because sometimes when you are wise as an old soul, right, when you're mature like a grown-up, sometimes you, you don't need to look at emotional states of another party for example um, because you don't even see it as a problem <laughs> okay and that might sometimes make them seem a little bit naive okay like they're clueless like what <laughs> I, I don't know why do you care about that they want to say <laughs> okay so it's more like um, not so much naive but just uh, they just don't put um, energy into certain things um, because they don't see um, them as a problem, 
all right but this person is happy uh, i feel like this person could also be funny and uh, i'm getting a very good energy from this uh, this person here mature and happy and uh, humoristic and just very positive um well why should that be a problem uh, yeah we can fix that no problem um let's just not worry so i feel like this person very seldom worries about a lot of stuff <laughs> okay so uh, they just really want to um, live a good and abundant life where um, and they're confident and strong um, in the choices that they make okay so this is a good one coming in or you have this person in your life uh, so you're pretty lucky, I feel like. So I want to these three piles. Um, uh, Spirit wanted me to pull them as a, like a sort of like a past, present, future energy, but still, it's uh, yeah. Let's let's see what happens. Okay. Um, this is the energy oracle. Whoopsie! Ooh, yeah, I just saw another one. That was beautiful. Okay, attachment, uh, number five. Okay, hmm. I wanna see the next one here. A woman holding a coin. And uh, caring connections, okay. All right, so uh, hmm. what I'm really getting here is um, I feel like you might have been uh, experiencing things in your life um, because of um, a detachment towards someone else, longing for needing someone in your life and then that's why you were with them like um, a dependent uh, relationship or you have experiences with these uh, dependent relationships and I feel like uh, these cards are telling us that you are coming straight out of that and I feel like perhaps this person sees you uh, as someone who is detaching yourself from being like that and you and you have become this beautiful and and strong woman self-secure confident woman and uh, i feel like this is uh, what attracts them to you okay and uh, and that that's what makes them want to be there for you and and you know um be in your life i feel like with a caring connection they just want to yeah I feel like hook up on a legal, uh, an equal frequency here, okay? And I want to say they see that you've shed your mask, not that you are wearing one, because this is the number of change, number five. So I'm, I really am getting that um, they're like, well, this woman is so, um, or man, authentic, and I really want to be with someone that's honest and authentic and i am as well i feel like this energy up here is very authentic and very um well has a lot of strength within so they don't need to be anyone else okay that's a beautiful energy here um using now love ink a lover's oracle deck happily ever after <laughs> okay so when they instantly meet you their instinct is definitely okay i want to be with this person forever <laughs> uh this is the one for me i just the moment they see you i want to say or saw you it, it, it was just wow uh what a conf confident and beautiful soul here okay um, and the next is different, okay? We're, we're so not alike, but that doesn't matter. I just love it. I just love it. 
<laughs> because uh, you can inspire me um, and you can teach me something I didn't know, okay? Uh, and I really want to learn from you, I feel like. And you can learn from them. And you're going to want to learn from them as well, I feel like here, okay? And happy family, you guys. Get the good cards. <laughs> All right, so, um, well, uh, I really do think that this person is like, this is uh this is good this person is not scared that you are self-sufficient that you know who you are and you know what you want they think you deserve all of that and then some and this is sort of the future and where this is uh, going right uh, you have the caring connection and the happy family so perhaps you have kids both of you and you would bring them together and that would be good or you will create a family of some kind, get pregnant or bring each other's families together with or without kids, you know, no matter what, it's still going to be a, f a sensation of happy. We have happy soul, caring connection, happy family here, right? So, um, and I feel like they are going to see an old soul in you as well, right? The old soul and the woman holding a coin they will see that in you and they will f they will know you from somewhere <laughs> okay from a past life um, and even though in this life you chose to have different kinds of interests I want to say then uh, they still really know you and uh, they want to be with you okay yeah, so let's do the light spheres here. Uh, Ace of Cups. <laughs> wow. Wow, when they meet you, they are going to be like, what? what? Yes. <laughs> Instant love. I, that's what I was getting, that energy. And it, the Ace of Cups tells us that because the Ace of Cups is um, new love. Uh, instant love. It's like... Um, and like I'm almost like a proposal energy. I want to be with you. I just can't not. <laughs> I want you. Okay. Uh, I just feel the love. I the in the moment I saw you, I felt the love for you. And then we have we have Knight of Cups, you guys. All right. So um, they are um, in the now moment. Uh, I feel like coming uh, toward you and uh, and saying, um, <laughs> you know, I know we're different. Um, I love that we're different. I love that you're strong. I love that you are who you are. Um, so um, that's why I really want to go on a date or I want to be with you. I want to, <sighs> I choose you. Um, that's what I'm getting from this Knight of Cups here, which is... Um, uh, such a charmer, right? <laughs> and uh, perhaps they will be bringing you some sort of proposal or doing something or going steady, being together, okay? Um, so uh, they're very passionate about you. That's definitely what I'm getting here. But also they want to bring you something... Um, grounded okay the next card here is the lovers oh mg you you're getting all um the good cards here in this reading so <laughs> what <laughs> it's happening here on this rainy day <laughs> in denmark <laughs> where the clouds are gray and uh well, it's a sexy time in my living room right here. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't wait for the extended where we go deeper into their desires and wishes <laughs> and dreams about you. So um, whew, we'll see how hot this can get. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, most definitely they love you. And this is what's going to happen with this relationship is going to bring you the love that you've been wanting because we have both of you here the happy family we have actually two in each two 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 and kids in the middle for those of you who bring them together or wanting them okay 
So, and we have two very strong souls, old soul and woman holding a coin and uh, it's very, very beautiful, this reading. And last uh, row we have here is Ace of Pentacles. All right, so I'm getting here that what they are instantly thinking when they meet you is, I can grow old with this per person. I can have a happy, happily ever after with this person. I, I want to pr pr provide for them. I want to live with them. I want to be with them. I want them to be mine. Um, so, um, and this Ace of Pentacles is telling us um, they want to invest uh, in a life with you. It's the third dimension energy in the pentacles always, right? So it's love, it's sex, it's money, it's uh, children, it's work, it's everything. All right, so, and they are instantly seeing this. We have two aces when they first meet you. They got struck down by lightning, I feel like. <laughs> it was like, whew, whew, this person takes my breath away, okay? So they just fell in love with you very fast or are going to fall in love with you very, very fast. Okay. And um, what's going on here is the emperor. <laughs> we have the woman holding a coin and the emperor, right? Uh, very, very, very beautiful uh, energy. This emperor is um, uh, such a strong, beautiful, um, respectful leader, someone who is very good at planning, a great father figure, a grown-up, an old soul, and happy soul, right? And uh, someone who knows about romance, <laughs> okay? And can provide for all the earthly uh, 3D dimension stuff, right? <laughs> uh, all the four kings made up until one here in the emperor. Wow. And the last card for you, mm -hmm. ah, three of pentacles. There we go. The relationships begin. So, um, and the collaboration, the teamwork is happening here. Look at this card. I feel like this is a father who is standing there on the ladder and the mother is sitting there and knitting and uh, the child helping. Everybody's getting involved in this relationship. It's such a beautiful, caring uh, collaboration, teamwork. This is how a true daily life, a loving daily life looks like. Where everybody has their role and it fits perfectly together. Okay, so I can't wait for this extended to see uh, what this love is bringing you uh, in a more passionate and loving way. <laughs> but mm, well, um, we got a good indication here. <laughs> okay, so this is what I had for you. And uh, if you want to join me in the extended, you should join my membership. Um, okay, and uh, there you can get um, all of my extendeds if you choose to be the shaman. Okay, you guys, and uh, wow, <laughs> um, well, congratulations, and I'm I really hope this works out for you. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll see you uh, next time. Take care. So, hello, if you chose this uh, beautiful group number two with this beautiful crystal. Let's move on. The feather wanted to join your group as well <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move on, uh, get to know your person and their energy and uh, the feelings, their intentions. All right, so here we have first and foremost, I'm using the Divine Masculine uh, deck here, Archetypes and Behaviors to just see um, what kind of person is coming into your life or is already in your life. Um, I want to say for some of you, it could be someone you already know. So you have to um, read it like that or <laughs> understand it like that. Okay. Um, each of you are different. Single father. Okay. <laughs> Independent protector, living, careful, uh, caretaker, struggling, it says. 
and we have the student okay applying knowledge interested in learning um, <laughs> Apprentice, planning for the future, building a foundation, partying, drunkenness for some of you. And then we have knight in charming or ar <coughs> armor <coughs> and offer, <coughs> live life, inspiration, opportunity, passionate love, sweeping you off your feet, what you've always hoped for. And then we have the healer. Okay. Physician, shaman, therapist, doctor, mentor, cure, medicine man. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to have a little cold, okay? It has nothing to do with the reading. It's just a rainy day in Denmark. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, <sighs> I get two uh, different ages that comes in here. For some of you, this could be a young person who is a student um, and uh, but is really a sort of a, a mature soul, a mature energy, someone who is studying uh, to become a doctor or um, this person could just be a kind of a person that is, is always a mentor and some helping others uh, good to talk to. to um, or someone who is um, interested in alternative uh, ways, I want to say. So, um, and for other others of you, this person could be a little older, or uh, uh, and they could could be a single father, uh, be a mature again, a mature energy coming in for both <laughs> uh, age wise. Uh, uh, but someone who is uh, very interested in knowledge, very intellectual. I'm just getting uh, someone who's taking care of someone and wanting to take care of someone. I feel like uh, they know how to um, make a romantic um, offer and uh, how to sweep you off your feet <laughs> and give you whatever it is that you always hope for and need. Because um, in that way, they are old, <laughs> they're experienced, <laughs> uh, no matter how uh, young they are, I feel like. And then, uh, but this, this person could be a doctor, it, they could be um, just someone who is helping others. Uh, heal in all sorts of ways. It doesn't have to be um, a doctor or a, a therapist or a medicine man, curer. It could also just be someone who helps others uh, in their daily life, daily work. Um, it could be someone that is always wanting to know more about things within their field. Okay, um, but someone who also knows how to have fun sometimes, you know, they're not uh, deprived of uh, having fun just because they're mature. They also know how to have a good party or <laughs> just uh, go for uh, with a group of people and just given it all, I feel like I want to say. Let's see from the divine, sorry, that's not divine. This is the a psychic oracle, <laughs> okay? Okay, we have the sun. So I, I was sort of putting these in the beginning, the middle, the end energy, okay? So they, they just, I feel like perhaps you meet this person in, in a, a happy place at a party or something, <laughs> uh, or you have met them, but it still is, uh, or it is, this person could be a Leo, this person could just bring you joy from the beginning, or you can have fun with them from the beginning. And uh, like to be with them, and then we have door to personal happiness, healing, and happiness. All right, yeah, so perhaps you have something in common regarding um, uh, uh, a medical issue, I want to say, or both of you perhaps you work with um, 
something uh, with health wise uh, and <laughs> and you meet each other there um, and there is the door <laughs> to bring you together it's but it still is also uh, someone who is um, gonna bring you uh, happiness I really do feel like I want to say and then we have community okay so you guys are yeah I feel like you guys are really um, taking it into a kind of a relationship where everybody knows you and you are you have lots of friends I feel like a lot of friends are involved in this energy here or colleagues or uh, so when you get to be together it's like once you tell one friend then everybody knows and everybody's like yeah I'm rooting for you and it's gonna be like a uh, a relationship where you uh, also have so much to do in the world uh, like uh, taking care of I don't know children uh, you might have kids both of you are wanting to get pregnant or have a lot of friends around you that you see a lot uh, and but it's very very community wise this energy here um, I'm seeing you uh, e either a student with a lot of people around or uh, someone working on in a workplace with a lot of people around that everybody knows e each other or something like that you know uh, not everybody knows everybody but there is a group of people here surrounding this relationship I want to say okay so I'm doing now the um, uh, love ink a lover's oracle card deck you can find it in the description i'm using it it's my my <laughs> creation <laughs> so today um, yeah the meeting <sighs> okay so i'm really getting this sun card can it can be like a happy happy energy coming in when you meet this person or it if you did meet this person it was in we felt like you were you were happy you were like wow <laughs> Ooh, this is good I feel joyful or wow this is um, it feels warm it feels nice I really I have to go there I want to go there <laughs> okay um, and I feel like instantly you you felt the attraction okay and then we have soulmate because this is your soulmate look at all the yellow we have the Sun and we have a Sun and <laughs> this couple uh, really enjoying each other here right uh, so very beautiful it could have been a summer's night when you met each other <laughs> uh, or late summer's night we don't know um, <laughs> yet well we'll see uh, growing old together wow this is like pile one you guys you, you really do get the good cards so um, yeah Look at this with the community and growing old together. It's like, um, I'm hearing the word, perhaps you go to the same church. <laughs> there is uh, just, um, you really take this relationship into the third dimension. You have a grounded love. Um, like um, such a beautiful caring compassionate loving passionate respectful kind of love where you provide both of you and uh, want to provide for each other or they want to provide for you or um, I feel like always gonna be by each other's side and uh, and it's like when once you meet them or when you met them you felt like this is the person I'm gonna grow old with and then we have surprising invitation there is a lot of surprise in the energy of this first row here uh, so uh, 
So, yeah, I feel like in the beginning it's like, whoo, pow, <laughs> it's really going on. And then we have, I miss you. When I'm not with you, I really miss you. <laughs> Where are you? I want to see you. <laughs> so they are longing for you when they don't see you, okay? And then we have uh, um, moving in together. Okay, there we go with the grounded, the foundation, the... They, this student is always building, also building a, a foundation, right? Um, to have a, a good life, a steady, a safe financial uh, life, right? So um, that's very beautiful. And I only have one more card from this loving uh, first love. <laughs> so for those of you who are young, this could be your very first love. The person you're like, I've never felt this love before. This is it. Uh, wow. And for those of you who are a little more mature, this could be like, uh, I feel like I felt when I met my first love. Now it's coming back. I just, whew, I have to take a deep breath. This is just wonderful. Um, I feel like I haven't felt this kind of love before ever. It feels like the first love okay so that's for some of you right uh, <laughs> but it's definitely a beautiful beautiful love coming in here and from the light series to row i have three more cards for this uh, reading uh nine of pentacles wishes coming true here <laughs> wishes coming true look at this happy um, yes I got it. I feel safe. I feel secure. I know who I am and I know how to take care of myself and this person will take care of me just as well and they know what I deserve. Uh, but it's really good. And the world. Wow. So yeah, this person is going to want you in their world. Okay. Uh, a new step is beginning. A new era is beginning. I feel like in both of your lives here especially this person that's really wanting all of this <laughs> and uh we have the ten of pentacles and there we have the grounded life once again with all the kids and all the people and um feeling safe and secure here such a beautiful energy here oh yeah you really are like leaving a legacy here. This is what you're wanting uh, to do together, right? So everybody talks about you uh, like, wow, this is uh, most definitely uh, the dream couple. Okay, so this is what I had for you. Okay, my dear, and in the extended, I want to know about um, this person's sexual desires towards you and some messages here. What's going to happen sexually between you when you sort of sleep together and stuff like that? And then I'm going to be using my divine timing cards to see when is this going to happen. All right, so you guys see it there. If you want to join me, then you have to go to my membership uh, site uh, where you can watch all of my extended. Um, it's coming up in a month. And um, hmm, choose the shaman option because this is where you can get them or um, the encoders. Then you get a little more, okay? So you guys, <clears throat> my throat is like... Well, we're done. <laughs> but this reading was very, very beautiful. I can't wait to see uh, what this uh, sexy relationship is going to be like. <laughs> In just a minute, we're going to go there. <laughs> okay, see you later and take care. So this reading is for you if you chose this uh, beautiful fossil here. <laughs> Uh, already getting a passionate energy that's coming in <laughs> all right so um, let's see um, <clears throat> who is this person that's coming into your life who is this person or, or someone you already know um, you're with I don't know but let's see um, what's going to happen here their intentions and feelings we have the boss okay what a beautiful energy so we have hardworking, serious initiator conservative uh, gentleman wealthy and businessman all right so all those words 
<clears throat> can um, be uh, in this person's energy. Um, sorry, my throat is not very good. I'm having a little, little bit of a cold. So a daredevil, okay. Unafraid, confident, free will, going for it, surprise, taking chances. All right, so they definitely do have a very strong, powerful energy. Um, <clears throat> let's see the next two. Epiphany, all right. Insight, inspiration, moment of clarity, sign, knowing, deciding, all right. And then we have the builder. Uh, creative, new habits, stability, action, strong, vital force, applying a foundation. Okay, so uh, most definitely this person is, I feel like, um, uh, someone who uh, really loves to apply a foundation in their life. Uh, someone who knows what they do and um, is a hard worker for some um uh, someone who works a little too much <laughs> and uh, and someone who likes to lead in their work when they are off work they want to do sports they want to I don't know uh, go skiing or just uh, go running or swimming or yeah um, going on a bike for some of you also <laughs> okay um, but taking some chances all the time taking chances, uh, being creative and creating new uh, habits or um, trying new things. Uh, they really do have this vital force that is very uh, saying, I feel like, with this energy, very strong. <clears throat> and uh, the epiphany is like, uh, whenever I have momentum built towards something, I'm going to do it. It's just, and I feel like, when they meet you, they have that sensation, um, that inspiration, and the moment of clarity that this, I, I, I gotta go there, I'm gonna do this, I wanna go there, okay? <laughs> so uh, this is what I'm getting uh, for your person's energy. So um, we have energy oracle cards here. Okay, we have card number 12, um, the temple path. I, I got a little... <clears throat> out of breath, a little pain in my uh, solar plexus stomach area here. Um, like it's gonna be a little hard to begin with. I don't know why. Let's see what's gonna happen here because I'm, I'm sort of doing it in the beginning and now moment in the future energies, but you know, it can have happened all uh, at all times, I wanna say. Let's see the next cards. There's the heart broke. I just felt in card number nine, broken heart. Okay. Um, what's going on here? And then last card for this. Uh -huh, we have the woman holding a heart. Yeah, so there is love here. There is love. They love you, I feel like. And they just can't get rid of that feeling uh, and the knowledge that they, they know that uh, and they're clear of the fact that they love you but it seems like something will take a while before you get there okay um, yeah it's uh, I found you I found you but I was heartbroken when I met you I was not ready for you I had not healed uh, sufficiently. I was actually hanging my hanging upside down, <clears throat> uh, walking my temple path, <laughs> um, being the hanged man energy, um, healing. I want to say, uh, waiting, thinking, recovering. Okay. So, and then we have from Love Inc. Um, a Lover's Oracle deck, which are also my decks. So um, you can find the description of where to get them and where to see more of them below. Uh, different, okay. <laughs> so they're questioning, are we too different? Are, are we from two different kind of worlds? Are we, uh, 
but I feel like they really do love you because um, there is um, an equality in frequency here. You meet each other at a time, a moment in time where you are actually um, longing for needing the same things. That's why they get that moment of clarity. That's why they, they find the momentum and want to build on it, I feel like. So this person could be a builder. Uh, they could be building stuff. Uh, but also someone who is in their life also very stable and know who they are and what they want, what they're longing for in their life. Because perhaps they just get out, got out of a relationship where they um, now are trying to find themselves. I'm getting an energy of that. Okay, so uh, I'm pulling the cards, but actually it was the camera I was supposed to be pulling. Um, I don't know if I can get them to lay like this. I want to do that. I feel like this person is very self-secure and know who they are and... Um, and definitely they don't want what they just had. <laughs> they want something else. Um, and uh, perhaps someone's questioning. Uh, it could also be you. Perhaps you just get got out of a, a relationship where you had this bro your heart broken. And you are gaining your insight and your um, self-security back. Your inner power back. And, uh, and this is um, what this person needs uh, you to do. So perhaps during your relationship, it could have been that you broke each other's heart, okay? Uh, because one of you were not ready and you were too different. And you sort of said, well, it's, the, it's because we're too different. We, we come from, you know, different worlds. And then we have risky love, okay? Uh, it feels risky. This love feels risky. Um, can can we be safe? Uh, but I really do think you can see these two people. They want each other. They feel magnetically attracted to each other. But you know, a car is gonna run over them in a minute if they don't leave the road. So it still is. Uh, both of you, are, they are thinking: Is this too risky? Can can this ever really work out? even though they know you, they want you, okay? I snatched him, okay? This is a card of someone getting their way, okay? Um, so this could be you or them. I'm, I'm getting... Um, but I feel like in the end, both of you have been working on this uh, fear you might have, I feel like. And then you sort of start longing for each other so much that you're like, okay, I, you're the one I want. You are the one I'm, I'm building this foundation with. Um, so uh, you sort of snatch each other back, uh, even though there's been a little a rocky road in the beginning. Okay, so now using the Light Seer's Oracle here. No tarot. King of Wands, <laughs> okay, so uh, this uh, boss builder, <laughs> Daredevil, is coming in as a King of Wands, and this is a, such a charmer, and also it is a risky lover, okay, <laughs> so, um, and perhaps they come in with a lot of passion, lo a lot of sexual energy in the, to begin with, and uh, that really... Uh, is so attractive to you but so also making you uh, doubt if, if what if this is all it is um, okay that's what I'm getting next card is seven of Pentacles so it's take, gonna take some time uh, and both of you are gonna be thinking about it but you actually are um, wanting to create a beautiful outcome here, I want to say, here with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, but it's going to take some patience and some hard work uh, and uh, waiting for mm, 
the healing that is needed in this relationship okay and then four of wands uh we have foundation and snatched him and the builder and yeah so uh with the four of wands is uh, is such a beautiful energy of uh, making building a foundation and celebrating it uh, a reunion uh, i feel like and really trying really trying perhaps uh, you know um, you told someone ah, it's so hard this relationship is impossible and it's because this and that and blah blah and your friends are going to be like yeah find someone else or something like that and then in the end you really want to be with them and you start being with them and everybody's like what are you sure <laughs> um, well and you're like you know what yeah i can't not okay so that's an energy i'm getting here so if you don't want to celebrate me and them, them us then you know don't uh, i'll find someone else <laughs> to be friends with okay five of ones here in again in the beginning are we two different five of ones there could be other people involved here that you have to say goodbye to in this relationship so as some sort of a competition um, here it, or a, just a, st uh, a strive uh, towards something, a challenge, an obstacle, right? Um, it doesn't have to be another person, but something that you have to overcome. Um, uh, and it can be, you know, uh, the differences between you. It can be uh, that... Um, one or both of you um, are bringing in, in a big, a very heavy backpack from earlier on in your life. And this is sort of creating uh, an obstacle. It can be all sorts of obstacles here. Uh, living in another country, uh, far away from each other. Um, uh, yeah, um, job-wise, all sorts of things. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy again below the Seven of Pentacles here. The, the King of Wands is very fast and very charming and very, I know what I want and I want you and I'm going to have you, I'm going to take you. This is the energy, right? Uh, very courageous in the beginning coming in. And uh, yeah, uh, but in the Knight of, of Pentacles is um, it's slow moving, but it's... Uh, it's actually, a, I feel like a, someone who's a, wanting to put in hard work into this relationship. Um, I feel like um, this person is becoming more and more trustworthy and reliable to you, okay? Um, uh, and uh, I feel like they want to show you that you can trust them, okay? So... Um, yeah and then the last card we have is uh king of pentacles okay <laughs> so um and the king of pentacles is someone who really matches with the uh, woman holding a heart right this is a good match this is a good match that and they're like i snatched i snatched you <laughs> i got you and you were like i got you finally or both of you right the king of pentacles is you know the next level to the knight of pentacles um a very very uh a solid and practical person who is coming in and and uh, has says uh you know what we both learned and now we are uh, i feel like i'm ready and uh, i want you now uh, and don't ever um doubt me uh, i want to provide for you i'll take care of you um and yes we're gonna have beautiful sex but lots of love and lots of security okay Whew, so this is very beautiful energy. I really, really want to go um, move on to the extended reading because there we're going to talk about the passion and all the sex <laughs> that's going to come in here. And uh, what is it? Because some of you might be doubting, is this all about sex? Can I trust this person or what? Um, okay. 
and uh, we're gonna get messages from we're gonna be using the tarot of sexual magic and messages from them about what they like and uh, also messages from you about what you need from them in a sexual relationship to build up a story about what kind of sexual relationship are you going to have and I'm going to bring in the timing cards so we can see when is this all uh, gonna unfold all right so uh, you guys this is what I had for you and I'll see you next time take care